Good morning, everyone. In First Samuel, verse seventeen, chapter seventeen, verse forty-seven said, "Then all this assembly shall know that the Lord does not save with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and He will give you into our hands." To our brethren, to our guest speaker, to our best visitors, and to those who are with us in our FB live. Welcome to God is Alive 20th Anniversary. Hallelujah. So, hallelujah! Tayo po lahat ay tumayo. At bilang panimula, tinatawagan ko po si Sister Marisol Masangkay para sa opening prayer. Okay, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dakilang Diyos ang mga makapangyarihan sa lahat. Panginoon, maraming salamat muli sa umaga ito. Kami pinagtipon-tipo mo sa gawain ng ito, Lord God. Sa aming pagsiselebrate, Panginoon, ng 20 years, Panginoon, thank you, Lord. Walang hanggang pasasalamat, pagpuri, pagsamba, at pagdakila ay sa'yo lang namin ibinabalik ang lahat. Salamat, Lord, sa bawat isa na narito. Patuloy, Panginoon, sa araw na ito, gamitin mo ang bawat isa sa amin, Lord God. Empower us by your Holy Spirit, by your Lord, Panginoon. Sa buhay na namin, uh, guest speaker, Panginoon, si Pastor Edward, Panginoon. Lord, more anointing, wisdom at knowledge na nagmumula sa iyo, Panginoon, sa kanyang buhay. Lord, 20 years. Sa 20 years, Panginoon, na maraming problema, pagsubok man na pinagdaanan, pero hindi mo kami, Panginoon, hindi mo man, minsan pa, Panginoon. Hindi mo kami pinabayaan, oh Lord. Salamat, Lord, sa 20 years, Lord, ang pandemic na to na matindi, Panginoon, na kami, Panginoon, ay silubog ng aming pananampalataya. Lord, salamat sa lakas at katatagan na iyong binigay. Hindi namin kaya kung kami lang, Panginoon. Hindi namin kaya sa lakas namin, hindi sa tulong mo, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord, sa bawat isa, Panginoon, na nagpagal sa araw na ito. Lahat, Panginoon, ang ginamit mo. Salamat sa buhay nila, hindi man sila mabanggit isa isa. Ikaw ang nakakabatid, Panginoon, na kanilang buhay. I-bless mo, Panginoon, ang bawat isa, Panginoon, na nagpagal sa gawain na ito ngayon. Araw na ito na aming pagsaselebrate, Panginoon, ng 20 years. Lord, salamat din sa buhay ng aming Pastora Josie. Hindi man namin siya kapili ngayon, Lord. Salamat at ginamit mo siya sa gawain na ito, Lord. Amen. Salamat sa kanyang buhay, Panginoon, na nagumpisa ng gawain na ito. Ngayon, Lord, nagsiselebrate kami ng 20 years sa buhay na aming Pastora Liwa at Pastora Jenny na ginamit mo para ipagpatuloy ang gawain na ito. Salamat sa kanilang mga buhay. Patuloy mo pagpalain, oh Lord God, ang gawain na ito. Lahat ng may mga ministry, Lord, na, mag, na magbibigay ng alay sa iyo ngayong araw na ito. Lord, itago mo sila sa iyong likuran. Ang kanilang mga talento mo ito, Panginoon, ay patuloy ng iga, pagamit, Panginoon, para sa iyong kalwalhatian. Hindi para, Panginoon, papurihan ng tao. Kung ikaw, Lord, ang higit namin mapapurihan dyan. Salamat, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord. Ang bawat isa, ang safety and protection sa kawa na to, sa templo ito, o sa bulwagan ito, Panginoon. Lord, ang pag-iingat mo. Salamat, Panginoon, na harating ang bawat isa. Muli, sa mga bago namin mga kasama, ito ang simula na sila ay mga kasama namin, Panginoon. Hibuhin mo kalil ang mga puso, Lord. Sa marininig namin na yung mga salita sa katuluan ng aming uh, Pastor Edward, Panginoon. Lord, tumilos ka, Panginoon, sa iyong banal na espiritu, oh Lord God. Sa aming maririnig, Lord, nawa ito ay lagi namin maigaw. May sa pamuhay at panggawa, Panginoon, sa pang-araw-araw namin pamumuhay, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord, sa favor din ng aming mga employer. Patuloy mo pagpalain din ang buwan ng aming mga amo at pangabisita namin ngayon na mga asama namin, oh Lord, na mga bago. Salamat, Panginoon, at patuloy na ang tataas namin ang gawain na to ay sa iyo lamang. Sa iyo lamang na namin babalik, Panginoon. Hindi hadla ng pandemic na to Panginoon, para matigil ang gawain ng Lord God. Bagkos, Panginoon, patuloy mong pinatatag ang aming pananampalataya dahil sa pandemic na to Lord. Kami, Panginoon, na nakatayo. At ang laban na to ay hindi namin laban, kundi sa iyo, Panginoon. Pinagtagumpay mo na to Lord, kaya alam namin pagtatagumpay mo ni Gain sa loob, Panginoon, ang tulay ito. Kaya Lord, maraming maraming salamat Panginoon. Ang lahat ng aming gagawin ay inaalay namin sa iyo lamang. Sa pangalan mo, Jesus, Amen. 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 Amen.
para sa ating praise and worship si Sister Lioneta Medina at Sister Irene Lamente. Kasama po ng buong music team and dance ministry. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning. Our well, warmest welcome to our visitors and our guest speaker, Pastor Galang. Welcome po. Welcome to our 20th anniversary of God is Alive Home. Related po sa ating team nung nakaraang taong, fight the good fight of faith. Kaya tayo nandito ngayon, nagsiselebrate muli ng ating 20th year because we have fought the good fight of faith. At ngayon napatunayan natin na kaya tayo naririto dahil the battle belongs to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. There is a power in praise and worship. Bawat pagtas natin ang kamay, bawat pagpigkas natin ang pangalan ni Jesus, there is a power to defeat the enemy. Hallelujah. So this time, hayaan natin maitas natin ang pangalan ng ating Panginoon. Let us give our Lord the highest praise of all praise. Hallelujah.
for us. Who can be against us? Katulad ng sinasabi sa Isaiah 54.17, No weapon forms against you shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and the righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Kung alam mo ito ay anak ni Lord, may kapangyarihan ka to defeat the enemy. Amen? Let us continue to praise the Lord. God is fighting for us!
Amen. Purihin ang ating Panginoon. Amen. Sa pagkakataon po nito, makakaupo po muna tayo. At makakatumay po tayo ng history kung paano simula ang God is alive Hong Kong at kung gaano katapat ang ating Panginoon sa atin, ano? sa, sa gawain nito. Sapagat hindi natin ito maririk without the help, the faithfulness, and the power of the Lord. Sa pagkakataon ito ang ating history ay ihatin sa atin ang ating uh, dating head pastor. Pero siya po ay nang for good. At ngayon po ay head pastor ng God is Alive Pampanga and overseer ng God is Alive Hong Kong. Talagpakan natin ang ating Panginoon sa abay ng ating pastor Jocelyn Hernandez. Dahil sa katapatan ng ating Panginoon. 
So, sige po, tunghayan natin ang uh, history ng Gabi Caladongo.
Sige po, habang naghahanda yung ating dance ministry, ay i-welcome ko po ulit yung ating mga iba pang mga bisita. Tumayo po kayo kapag dinaman yung pangalan. Uh, uh, Jacqueline Arellano. Welcome si Sarah. Sister Gurley Puerto. Welcome si Sarah. Sister Criselda Dalingan. Welcome sa buhay ng ating Panginoon. Kapunin sa ating Panginoon sa buhay ng bawat ating Panginoon. pictures. May opportunity to take pictures sa ating yes. mga uh, dance ministry ng mga kapatid. Ano sa dance ministry? Minsan pa nga po pala pa natin ang Diyos sa buong mga tao. Ikaroon lang po tayo ng konting uh, problema sa ating computer. Ipapatuloy na talagang 20 years na tayo. Sa pangalaman na po natin si Lord. Thank you. 
sa buhay ng ating ministry. So, natin po pagpapatuloy. Tatawagan ko po ulit ang ating mga karagdagang bisita. Mahali po kayo ay tumayaw pag atinawin yung pangalan. Sister Bell. Sister Bell Abu. Sorry po. Sister Bell. Hindi ko po mabasa yung kanyang kanyang apelid. Sorry po. Uh, welcome po sa kawain ng ating Panginoon. Sister Maria Fe Esquadro. Welcome. Sister Maribel Calanoga. Ah, Calanoga daw po. Sister Bel Calanoga. Magkapatid po sila. Sister Maribel Calanoga. And sister... Ay, kina po sila pala. So, sige po. Magpatuloy po tayo sa pagkakataon po ito ay to introduce our guest speaker. Tinatawagan ko po ang ating head pastor, Pastor Aliway Cho. Pero baka natin si Lord Cho ang ating head pastor. Praise God, praise God. Good morning po sa inyong lahat. Maganda po mga ka po sa Tagalog. Chosan. Sabi po sa English, Chosan. Ayan. Ito po ay nagagalak na makasama ngayon sa kayo sa umagang ito. Baka maging celebrate ng kabutihan ng ating Panginoon. Amen po ba sa umagang ito? I am very proud once again to present our guest speaker today. At ako po ay nagagalak dahil ah... Eka nga kahit misan na hindi tayo iniwanan na ito sa patahon ng ating pangangailangan. Amen? Amen! And today po, sa umagang ito, ay uh, tayo ang nagsa-celebrate ng 20 years anniversary ng God's goodness in this family. Correct. Amen? Amen! At uh, ngayon po, as we celebrate this uh, uh, anniversary, uh, ako po ay nagagalak misan pa na i-present sa iyo ang ating, uh, sa inyong lahat ang ating uh, minamahal na guest speaker today. Siya po ay uh, head pastor ng Force Square by, uh, dito sa Hong Kong ng Under Living Spring. Okay? At siya po ay uh, uh, galing din before ng uh, Thailand. As, as missionary po, yun ang kauna-unahan nilang uh, mission ng kanya pong asawa. And then after that, nakarating dito sa Hong Kong, I think year 2000, Uh, one. Ayan. At hanggang sa kasalukuyan po, kasama po ang kanyang asawa na si Madam uh, Raquel Sereno Galang na taga Davao City. At uh, ang kanila pong anak ay si uh, Brother Philip Galang. At uh, ako po ay nagagalak din na naging uh, uh, guru ko siya at ang kanyang asawa sa Force Quail Bible School dito sa uh, 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 Hong Kong. At siya po ang uh, CEO uh, that time and until now. At uh, atuan niya po ang kanyang uh, asawa na si Madam Raquel. At uh, ako din po ay uh, nagagalak na makilala siya at sa pamamagitan niya, ang inyong pong lingkod ay naging kabahagi ng FMFI. Si, uh, ito po ang ating guest ngayon ay um, laging presidente ng uh, FMFI. Ang FMFI po ay uh, Filipino Ministerial Fellowship na ito po ay uh, associations ng Body of Christ dito sa Hong Kong. At uh, natutuwa po ako at uh, ako ay nakaging kabahagi doon kung kaya po ang ating God is Alive family ay nakilala dito sa Hong Kong through His life. At uh, hindi po ako nagkakamali since nang tumating ako rito ay pang second or third president uh, na paglilingkod niya dito sa FMFI. Naging uh, advisor din po siya during nung hindi siya president. At sa kasalukuyan po ay siya pa rin po ngayon. Kaya po mga kapatid, minsan pa sa umagang ito, hindi ko na po papakahabaan ang uh, pag-introduction dahil kilala na natin siya. Once again, I am very proud to present to you our speaker, a very humble servant of God, Reverend Edward Gala. Palapag po lang po natin sa Praise 
God, if you are happy today, say Amen. Amen! Nag-request po kay Pastora, pwede tanggalin yung mask habang nag-speak at pumayag naman po siya. Pwede mong pakisabi sa katabi nyo, alam mo, mas maganda ka ngayon kaysa last year. <laughs> If you were invited for the first time, I think that's a wonderful privilege. Pero kapag ka na-invite ka for the second time, I think your pastora is too polite that I was invited again for the second time. And now that she invited me, of course, through the agreement of the council, I feel I feel very, very uh, fascinated and delighted na hindi po kayo nagsasawa na ipitahin ang inyong abang lingkod kasi po napaka-strong ng connecting link ng God is Alive and yours truly, personally speaking. I was saved in God is Alive ha, and we may see ha, and that was in 1981. And this coming June 19, they will be celebrating their 41st anniversary And I am now 41 years old, born again Christian. And because I'll be traveling tonight to the Philippines, wow. okay, magalala pagkain ko ng halo halo. Kayo ang nasa isip ko. And uh, Pastor Boyan Gonzalez is a very good friend of mine. Kumpari ko po siya inaanak ko yung kanyang kaya sa isang anak. And upon knowing that I'll gonna be home this June, they invited me to be their 41st anniversary speaker. Kaya it's very nostalgic kasi po, doon ako na born again and I'll be speaking and I'll be announcing to them also that I am your speaker during your 20th, 20th anniversary. Di ba ang strong ng connection? Na born again ako doon, si Pastora Jocelyn po, we came from the same barrio. We attended uh, the same elementary school. But Bishop Ferdy, we attended the same high school. Uh, he was ahead of me of, by one year. Kaya po, napaka-strong ng connection. Si Pastora Loy Cliway po ay taga Nueva Ecija. Nag-aral po siya sa Forceware Bible College. Doon po kami nagkakilala. Kaya nag-connect-connect. And I am also personally very proud of your pastor because she is very diligent, very generous. Para yatang walang makakapantay sa pagiging generous ng inyong pastora. Napakabait. Nagagalang po ako sapagkat galing din siya sa aming the same province, galing siya sa Force Revival College, doon saan ako din ay natuturo. And at the same time, siya po ang inyong matapat na pastor. At alam ko, she is very successful in discipling lots of wannabe pastors. Mababait din. At ang sarap magsipagsalita ng MC, si pastora kasi Tagalog na Tagalog, ako po ay galing din sa kapusuan ng Katagalugan. Kaya alala umbaga mga katoto ay yung lahat ay hindi ko mapagtanto sapagkat kayong lahat minsan ay mababaho. Wala na akong maisip eh. Pero in fairness naman, sinabi ko magaganda kayo kaya sa ngayon kaya sa last year. Are you happy today? Amen! Hallelujah! If God is with us, then who can be against us? Amen! And I would like to acknowledge yung bowling team ni Ivan, si na Jimmy Lai. We were able to play bowling together. Isa sa mga activities ng FMFI. At nga, I was so, I'm so happy na nandito sila ngayon. Kaya, minsan-minsan din, mag-bowling din. Huwag lang tayong masyadong pasindak dito sa mga COVID na ito. Sapagkat magpapasindak tayo sa COVID na ito. Napaka-powerful ng pinili ninyong team. The battle belongs to the Lord. Sapagkat kung ikaw ay magpapasinda, hindi ka mamamatay sa COVID, mamamatay ka sa sinda, at mamamatay ka sa stress. Kaya kung gusto mong mamatay ka agad, magpasinda ka lang. Pero normally naman, kapag ka mamamatay na tayo, mararamdaman mo yun eh, kung kukunin ka na ng Panginoon. Pakisabi nga sa katabi mo, nararamdaman mo na <laughs> Amen. 
praise God, pare-pareho pa naman natin hindi nararamdaman, ano? Pero kung nararamdaman nyo na, maging totoo lang kayo, we are very happy kami ni Pastor Aliwa, ipagpipray namin kayo ngayon. At sabihin dun sa kapila, alam mo sister, ang alam ko, mauna ka kesa sa akin. Hallelujah! The battle belongs to the Lord. Would you like to say Amen? Amen! God is good. Shall we pray? Panginoon, maraming salamat sapagkat buhay ang Diyos naming tinanggap. The Lord is good and His love endures forever. If Christ is with us, then who can be against us? We are rebuking all the schemes of the enemy because we know that if we have Jesus, then we can advance and we can have more anniversaries to come. We would like to serve you, Lord, to honor you, to worship you alone in spirit and in truth. Because thou art so deserving to be honored, to be adored, and to be worshipped. And we are carefully bringing back to you all the praises and all the glory upon your faithfulness in this wonderful God is Alive Church, Hong Kong, for allowing me, Lord, to co-celebrate with them on their 20th. All the glory belongs to you, and continue, Lord, to inspire us to battle, because we know that we are guaranteed of victory and more victories ahead. In Christ's name we pray, and everybody shout. Amen. 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 Excuse me. Nasa sambit lang ha. Third box in a buwapo. The battle belongs to the Lord. 1 Samuel 17 verse 47. All those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves. For the battle is the Lord's and He will keep all of you into our hands. Napaka-powerful ng pinili ninyo sapagkat we are in a very steep battle nowadays, not only physically, but also spiritually speaking. But the difference to those who are not yet born again and to those who are born again, when we face the battle, we know that we have the guarantee hindi naman tayo nag-iisa. We are not alone. Amen. Amen. And according to the article of South China Morning Post, 70% of Hong Kong population, that means including us, are discouraged and depressed. And some of the vital signs that you are discouraged and depressed, two I think of the top signs are, you are irritable. And your patience is very short. Are you also feeling that way? Na parang kulang na kulang na ang pasensya mo. Madali ka nang magalit. Because those are the signs that we are depressed and we are discouraged. And it is very understandable for the simple reason that for the past three years, we've been battling this what we call global pandemic. And prior to this pandemic, meron pang two years tayong political instability sa Hong Kong. Yung two years ng rally ng rally, buti nga po kayo malayo doon sa heart ng demonstrations before. Pag sumilip ka sa baba ng building namin sa Prince Edward, nandun yung mga pulis. Pag sumilip ka sa bahay namin, nandun yung demonstrators. Kaya minsan nang lumabas yung mga members namin sa simbahan, nagitkit sila, napunta sila sa bahay namin, buti alam nila yung code number, doon sila sa rooftop ng 13th floor na punta. So we've been struggling for the past five years. To other parts of the world, tatlong taon lang silang humaharap ng pandemic. Tayo limang taon na. Pero praise God, ang mga tagagadi sa live, mukhang bumabata pa. Parang ang hina ng Amy ninyo. Tumari pa, suppress na suppress. Ang mga tagagadi sa live, bumabata pa. Amen? Baka nga po pagpunta ko dito ulit after 5 years, mga fetus na lang kayo. Amen. God is so good. And I chose Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 to 20 as my cross reference. Finally, according to Ephesians verses 10 to 20, be strong in the Lord. We have to decide to be strong. Kasi may mga times na talaga naman, mga tao din naman tayo, nanghihina tayo. Minsan nga, iba ang feeling natin pare-pareho. Ayaw na natin. 
Pastor Jesus Christ is with me. That's why everything I am rebuking. Pagka pastor masungit ang amo ko, talagang sinasabi ko sa kanya, in Jesus name. Bumabait, pastor. Eh, Christian din pala yung amo. Sabi ng amo, pag masungit yung katulong ko, i-review ko rin siya. Kung sino ang mas makapangyarihan. We have to be strong. That's a command. It was not a request. So therefore, once you become strong, we are obeying the command. It was not delivered as a request. The Bible says, being strong. If, because if we are not going to decide not to be strong, ang dali nating matalo sa laban, the battle belongs to the Lord. Amen. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, therefore, as once again repeated, therefore put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand, again, it was delivered in a commanding manner, stand firm then. With a belt of truth buckled around your waist, with a breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with a readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Because if we have the gospel of Jesus, then we have peace. Amen. Kaya po sa mga bisita namin ngayon, it's not accidental that you are here. Amen. There's a solid, there is a solid purpose on why you were invited to come here. Because nothing happens by accident when it comes to the Lord's sovereignty. Kahit po si Pastora, alam ng Panginoon na may plano ang sa kanyang buhay din. Para tayo ma-encourage and we can encourage one another. Yes. Sabi ko kay Pastora Liway, ang ganda naman ng uniform. Hindi halatang may mga pinagdadaanan. <laughs> Amen ba? Sabi ko sa kanya, may polo akong flowery. Sana ako alam ko lang. And you are looking good. Kasi po, you made good choices. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith. We have to trust the Lord. Amen. With which, you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Because if you are going to entertain all the arrows of the enemy, ang dami niyan eh, pana ng pana. If we are not wearing the full armor of God, tanggap lang tayo ng tanggap. And remember, ang armor ng Lord Ang uniform, hindi lang sa harap meron. Sa likod, kailangan consistent. Kasi po, kung hindi tayo madadali sa harapan, ang enemy umaatak sa likod. At kung walang parte ng uniform, ang ating uniform sa pagiging sundalo ng Diyos, tatanggapin lahat ng likod natin ang tama ng mga arrows. Kaya kung minsan, mararamdaman nyo na lang, malungkot kayo. Mararamdaman nyo na lang, nandindiscouraged na kayo. Minsan magsaharap ka sa salamin, tatawa kang mag-isa. May huhugutin ka sa buhok mo. At sasabihin mo sa salamin, sino ako? Mga signs yun. Ngayon, pagka sumagot ka rin sa sarili mo, confirm. Even though I am exaggerating it, there are times that we are feeling the same kind of moods, would you like to say Amen to that? Amen. Mga arrows yun ng kalaban at kahit kami pong mga pastors, pinabanatan din kami sapagkat kami po ay mga nasa frontline ng ministries. Kung kami ang may discourage, domino effect, pagsak ang simbahan. Kaya si Pastor Aliway, malaking blessing sa FMFI, malaking encouragement. Kahit po sa mga pastors, marami din kami hinaharap. Pero pagka kami ay nagpapananangina na nag-i-encourage sa bawat isa, we can face everything. Because the battle belongs to the Lord. Amen. Would you like to say Amen to that? Amen. May mga times na maiinis ka sa katabi mo. <laughs> Di ba si Jesus sabi niya kay Peter, get the behind me Satan? Kasi nga yung katabi mo naman, hindi naman din marunong magbayad. <laughs> 
Ay, malakas ang tao dito sa parting to. Feel na feel, ano? May pinagdadaan ng kapasora. Pakisabi nga sa katabi, bayaran mo na nga ako! Para makahiram ulit. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. Kasi hindi lang tayo ang tanggap ng tanggap, ilabas din ang sword. Tayo din ang umatake. Review ka na lang ng review. Eh ba't hindi mo suguri ng palaban? Kaya pati ng uniform, meron tayong sword. Hindi lang ikaw ang tanggap ng tanggap, ang defense ng defense, ikaw din ang mag-offense. Would you like to say amen to that? Minsan, pasukin mo rin sa kwarto mo ang amo mo, amo! I want to increase! Lahat ng may gusto nyo, magsabi niya amen! Hindi pa, hindi na lang tanggap ka ng tanggap ng putos, ikaw din ang umatake! Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me, Paul said, because when he wrote this, he was in the prison and he was supposedly down and depressed. That's why he requested for a prayer. Pray also for me. Kaya po, sabi ng Biblia, pray for your leaders. Because Paul himself as well requested for some petitions and prayer. Pray also for me that whenever I speak words, may be even me, so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly and I should. The mandate bought from the Old and the New Testaments for us to become strong and to become offensive in battle is very prominent. It was given very clearly to Joshua when God said to Joshua, Joshua, be strong. Be courageous. Because you are going to replace Moses. And if ever you are going to become the national leader, you have to be very strong. Mga co-workers sa Hong Kong, be strong! Tama na yung iyak-iyak. Tahan na! Walang mangyayari. Pag stress ka lagi, dadami ang wrinkles, tatanda ka kaagad. At ang stress ang isa sa pinaka highest rate ng pagkamatay ng maraming tao sa buong mundo. Magpa-stress ka pa. Sa totoo lang, mamamatay ka kaagad. That's why he commanded us, be strong. Mga Pilipino sa Hong Kong, be strong. Chinese in Hong Kong, be strong. Would you like to say amen to that? Tama na yung iyak na lang ng iyak lagi. David, his son died. And for eight days, he cried and cried and cried. But after eight days, he stood up and he said, enough. And then he wore a beautiful garment. He danced inside the palace. And the people interpreted that he was going crazy because he began to dance. But after eight days of mourning, and that was natural, he stood up. And he said, I have to praise God. I have to be strong. Because everything is being allowed by the Lord for a purpose. Kung may problema, may reason din ang Lord kaya tayo pinibigyan ng problema. Eh, ang bagal at ang tagal mo kaya hindi pumupunta sa church. Nung magka-problema, pumunta sa church. Ngayon, nasa church. Katapusan. Konti na lang alaman ng octopus. Pero nandito. Because you love the Lord and you don't want to miss the 20th anniversary of God is alive. You want to celebrate. You want to support the leaders. That's why he said to Joshua, be strong. Because the baton was going to be passed to him after the death of Moses. Moses, upon 
the declaration of the Old Testament, he was the best, the most outstanding leader the Old Testament had ever produced. And it was going to be passed to Joshua. And the mandate to Joshua, Joshua be strong. Wag kang matakot. Meditate on these words day and night. Because if you are going to meditate on these words day and night, you're going to accomplish what Moses did accomplish. It was Pastor Jocelyn. The baton was passed to Pastor Niwai. And Pastor Niwai is doing a good job because she knows that the Lord is with her and the entire family is supporting her. Ang bilis maglipat ng ating physical arrangement ng mga bulak-bulak. Sa isang iglap nandun. Sa isang iglap nandito. Pero yung mga naglilipat, nakapost pa rin. Palang pa ka naman natin yung mga naglilipat. Hindi na maligawan nyo. Ang ganda ng uniform, pero nakapost pa rin magdala ng bulak-bulak. Kaya habang buhay, sila ang gawin yung tagalipat ng bulak-bulak. Everything for the Lord. Amen, sister. Why we need to battle? To stand the devil's schemes. Bakit kailangan nating makipaghera? Because we are fighting an enemy that is unseen. So we have to declare. Alam nyo yung baby nag-aamen din. Naku, one of these days, leader sa church yan. Ang sinasabi ng baby, Pastor Edward, preach more, preach more. Hallelujah. Da, 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 da. Hallelujah. Why we need to battle? To stand the devil's scheme in verse 12. For the struggles are not against flesh and blood. We are not against each other. We know that. Amen. Even though minsan talagang nakakainis. Meron ding mga pasawar. Sinabi ng ganito, ayaw sumunod. Sinabi ng ganyan, ayaw gawin. Pag nagka-problema, isisisi kay Duterte. Ano <laughs> kinalaman ni Duterte? Kaya nga po ako ngayon, I'm not so much attacked with our politics in the Philippines for, for staying here for more than 21 years. Parang detached na ako sa Pilipinas. Alam nyo, ang naisulat ko sa sa ano sa balota o mga hindi na ako ano kasi every election ang binoboto ko sa senator Kiko Pangilinan Tito Soto ngayon na paglalagyan ko senator sila kaya nang lumabas yung aking papel ako yung nagkamali talaga overvoting kasi tatlo yung naiputo kong vice president kasi nga akala ko si Kiko Pangilinan at si Tito Soto mga senator pa rin Hindi na pala. Because the government, the perfect government can be experienced through Jesus Christ. Would you like to say amen to that? Amen. For the struggles are not against flesh and blood. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. There are times that you are really meaning, meaning business to be active in the church. Pero minsan may mangyayari. Meron kami na invite sa prayer meeting. When she was about to attend, sumakit ang tiyan. Hindi nakapunta. Spiritual activity. May mga times kung kailan ka nagbabasa ng Bible, sa kakautusan. Amen? May mga times na kung ikaw ay nagdi-devotion, sa kakakulit din ang alaga mo. Mga unseen forces. May mga times na nagdesisyon ka ng maging mabait, kinukulit ka naman ng kaibigan mo. Amen? Amen. Sino ngayon ang kasama mo, ang kaibigan mo dito? Come on, taas ang kamay. Yung katabi mo, yung kaibigan mo. Ta huwag yung ikahiya yung kaibigan nyo. Come on, magtaas kayo. Magtaas kayo ng kamay. Akbayan ang kaibigan at sabihin mo sa kanya, mas maganda ako sa'yo. magkakaroon kayo ng peace. Hindi mag-aaway-awayin ko kayo. But they are spiritual activities. You are so sincere in declaring that Lord, I am yours now. I want to be faithful in submitting, in giving what is due unto you. 
Pero gagawa ang kaaway ng mga tactics para masira ang commitment mo. Yung iba dito, inaaya. Pero ang dami-daming reasons para hindi ka makapunta. Because they are spiritual activities. Minsan, smooth na smooth ang church. Bigla na lang magkakaroon ng tension. And if you are not careful, tayo ang mag-aaway-aaway. Amen? Amen? Pero yung ating worship team, mukhang wala silang away ngayon. <laughs> Alam ko po yan, sa mga practice, nagkakairitahan, yung isa si, isa di, yung isa sintonado, yung isa detonado. Kung hindi mainga, we're going to be against each other. But the battle belongs to the Lord. And we are not fighting each other, we are against We are not against flesh and blood. We are against principalities and rulers of this wicked world. Remember, we are heaven citizens. But we are still here in this world. So therefore, the struggles are so intense. Hallelujah. How to win the battle? Number one, as mentioned, putting on the whole armor of God. In verses 14 to 17, Stand firm then, with the belt of truth, wear it, buckled around your waist, buckled it tightly. Baka naman kasi isusuot natin, maluwag. Okay? With the breastplate of righteousness, para talagang may pangsangga in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Always know the gospel of Jesus. When Jesus was tempted by Lucifer three times, Jesus Christ said, it is written. So if we know the gospel of peace, we can overcome the tactics of the enemy. It is written. It is written. It is written. Then he won the temptation and Lucifer was defeated and Jesus Christ turned the world upside down. Would you like to say amen to that? In addition to all of this, Take out the shield of faith. Don't let your faith be affected. If everybody is seemingly discouraged, you are up. Don't worry, sister. Our God can handle it. He never leaves us nor forsake us. Be a blessing to Allah. If everybody is seemingly negative, you are positive. May mga times din okay lang. Pero huwag mag-stay doon. Stand up. And by faith, acknowledge what the Lord is capable of doing. Kaya ng Lord yan. Nakunig pa, panig na sa preparation sa 20th anniversary. Sabi ni Pastora, kaya natin yan. Huwag magpanig. Wala lang pera. Yung mga naunang tumawa na pigil na pigil, walang pera yun. Pero you are standing fear. The Lord will provide. Yes. That's His promise. Meron po kaming isang estudyante sa Bible school before. Wala na siyang pamasahe. Pumunta siya sa Bible school. Walang pera. Naubos na ang octopus. Naging pusit na lang. <laughs> Pero sabi niya, I know Lord na makakauwi ako. Nahihiya din siyang manghirap. I know Lord that you can provide. Pag uwi niya, Nakita niya sa may MTR, may nakabigot. Twenty dollars. Makakabalik pa siya the following week. And the Lord provided. Namamalaan siya! May one thousand sa pulsa niya mo. Sabi ka agad, wow, answered prayer! <laughs> Hindi ganun, ha? So, ali, ha? Give me $1,000, Lord. Namalaan siya, meron. Isole, kasi bibigyan ka pa ng mas higit. Yeah. Sino yung naka-experience, namalaan siya ka at may naplan siya ka? Magtaas ng kamay. You see? At yung ibang hindi makataas kasi nga hindi isinole. <laughs> In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows. Papatayin natin yan, ang mga apoy ng arrows. Take the helmet of salvation. 
and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. One of our Saturday members, he asked for prayers for her pamangkin, 38 years old. The pamangkin met an accident motorcycle, and he is now in ICU because he was not wearing a helmet. The helmet was going to be saving his life. That's why the Bible says, wear the helmet. Because if you are not wearing it, spiritually speaking, then we are going to lose our battle. Would you like to say Amen to that? Amen! So, kung huhu pa rin itong mga uniform na ito, pag lang tayo ay nagpapahinga. But whenever we wake up, start praying. Pray in the Spirit. Begin to wear the full armor of God so that when the attacks of the sin forces of the enemy, we can stand and we can declare the victory. How can we win the battle? Second, praying in the Spirit on all occasions. All occasions. If we have problems, tell it to the Lord. All occasions. Kung malungkot tayo, it's not a sin to tell God, Lord, ang lungkot ko ngayon. That's a prayer. Kung natatakot ka, tell it to the Lord. Lord, natatakot ako, Lord. That's a prayer. And as a matter of fact, kung nagagalit tayo, tell it to the Lord as well. Lord, I'm very upset. At kami nga po ni Pastor Eliwai, because we are both working in MRI, kapag ka kami irritated, nagsasabihan kami, it's not a sin to say that. Kasi si Lord, He can identify with all of our struggles and with all of our trials because the Bible says He was tempted in every aspect. Nalungkot siya, nagkalit siya, inumpanga niya yung mga tables sa temple. So pag nagagalit ka rin sa amo mo, sabihin mo sa Lord, I'm beginning to be upset. Change me, Lord. Kasi baka din tayo ang mga binabago, baka din sa atin may binabago ang Panginoon. Tell it to the Lord. On all occasions. Lord, I'm worried about my daughter. Tell it to God. Lord, I'm worried about my son. Tell it to God. Lord, I'm so upset with my church mates. Tell it to God. It's not easy to do that. Lord, I'm so afraid. I'm so discouraged. Lord, I want to cry. Tell it to the Lord. He knows that. And He can identify with that. And then, after your prayers of being so transparent and honest, conclude it by saying, But I know, Lord, that you are with me. You know me. You can comfort me. You can wipe away my tears. Away. You can transform my mornings into dancing. Ako, Lord, ay tatawa ulit sa kaligayahan because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Mga pastors, nasasaktan din ba kayo? Oo naman. Nalulungkot din ba kayo? Oo naman. Ang kaibandang po namin ay ang tawag namin. But everything that you are experiencing, we are also experiencing that. But it's a matter of telling everything to God. That's why we can serve the Lord longer. Because as what the Bible says, David earned the title, the man after God's own heart. Because he was able to express with all transparency everything to his God. Amen. Amen. Kung mayroong unang sumbungan, gawing si Jesus yon. Amen. Huwag ka agad magtatala sa katabi. Kung ikaw ay down, huwag ka agad sabihin sa katabi. Sabihin mo sa kaibigan mo, alam mo, darling, honey, o sa asawa, kung ikaw ay ano, depressed na depressed ako sa'yo. Ay, sorry, hindi sa'yo, darling. Correct, correct. Dilit, dilit, dilit. <laughs> Or BFF, Balungkot na balungkot ako ngayon. Sasabihin ng BFF mo sa'yo, alam mo, dalawa pala tayo. <laughs> Pero kung malungkot ang BFF mo, at ikaw ay up by faith, you are an encouragement. Yeah. Would you like to say amen to that? Yeah. Pakisabi sa katabi, o oh, sige na nga, magsinggan na lang tayo. <laughs> And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying 
for all the Lord's people. If somebody that you are feeling is down, pray for that person. Pray for your pastors. Pray for your leaders. Pray for your employers. Pray for your alagas that one of these days they would come to know the Lord. Pray for your children. If you love your children, the Lord loves them more. Kung mahal mo sila, mas mahal sila ng Panginoon. Lord, ipinapaubaya ko sa iyo ang aking mga anak. Ang asawa mo na love thy neighbor na ngayon? Alam na alam kung sino yung mga tumawa, no? Sabihin mo sa kanya, Lord, pagbalik ko sa Pilipinas, ibabalik ng neighbor. At meron ka pang empathic. By faith, Lord, ibabalik siya. Sila, Lord, ay hello, love, goodbye lang. Kami ang tunay. Would you like to say amen to that? Maraming ganyan sa Hong Kong. Pray for all occasions so that we can win the war. Amen. We are guaranteed of victory. The battle belongs to the Lord. Amen. But we have to do our part as well to claim it. We have to be strong. We have to stand by faith. We have to reclaim the territory because we know that they are ours. They are given by God. We are heirs to the throne. And one of these days, we'll be with Him throughout eternity. Amen. The third, pray for the leadership, verses 19 to 20. Pray also for me, for Pastor Eliwai, for the associate pastors, for the department leaders, for the worship leader, for the music leader, intercessory leader, for the singing. Pray for them. Pray for your leadership that whenever I speak word may be given me so that I will be fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel. Pray for the family of your pastors. Pray for them. Pray for their children. The children are facing some difficult task. Mahirap din po maging pastor's kid. They are facing some difficulties as well. Pray for them. Pray for the ambassadors of Jesus and pray for those who are being persecuted so that they're gonna be more bold in proclaiming the gospel. Amen. Amen. Pray for everyone in the spirit. If you are struggling, pray in the spirit. Whenever you are going to the market, pray in the spirit. To those who are baptized by the power of the Holy Spirit, pray in the spirit. Lord, I'd like to buy this fish. Hura ba paramanda, raba bakiya ng lahante. Bibigyan ako ng discount. Hallelujah. Bibigyan ako ng increase. Hallelujah. Kakonti, yung malang, hindi po malapak, hindi magkaka-increase. Bibigyan ako ng increase. By faith, in the name of Jesus, because you have Jesus in your heart. So therefore, you have special blessings and favors from your employers because Christ is with you. Amen. In conclusion, the battles belong to the Lord. If we have the battle that is belonging to the Lord, the assurance is victory. Amen. There are so many miseries if you are fighting for the war, for the battle. But there is the assurance of victory. If we are fighting and the battle belongs to the Lord, the battle, the destiny is eternity. If we are battling against everything that is not sin, we have the assurance of victory and the destiny is eternity. The Bible says, to those who are faithful until the end will be saved Amen. according to Matthew chapter 24 verse 13. Would you like to say Amen to that? Magkikita kita tayo sa langit. Gusto nyo bang ang katabi nyo, ang kapitbahay nyo pa rin sa langit? Amen! Amen! We are going to be with Him throughout eternity because His promise to those who are faithful until the end is going to experience salvation throughout eternity. Hallelujah! Pakisabi sa katabi, I want you to be my neighbor in heaven. To those who are first-timers here, 
if you heard the gospel for the first time, it's not accident. For you to win the war, you have to accept Jesus as your Lord and as your Savior. Repent from all of your sins and begin to acknowledge Him as the King of your life. Would you like to say Amen to that? Amen. And I'd like to end this by singing this very comforting song. Because in every situation, it's going to carry us. Would you like to say Amen to that? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Okay. 
I know that everybody knows kay buti buti mo ang Panginoon. So we sing that. I would like to invite the uh, worship team. And let's worship the Lord. God is so good. You like to say Amen to God. Amen. We can survive this pandemic because we are going to declare that the battle belongs Amen. to the Lord. Him in spirit. Accept the Lord today as your Lord and as your Savior. Don't waste this opportunity to invite Him to come into your heart. Amen. And we will sing this song once again. 
And I would like to request, don't be embarrassed. Yung pong mga nagtaas ng kamay, please come here in front. And I would like to lead you in a prayer that would signal the entrance of Jesus before maliging to your hearts. Come on, huwag po kayong mangyay. Lahat po na nagtaas ng kamay, come here in front. And I would like to lead you in a prayer. Everybody, lahat po na nagtaas ng kamay, come on, come here. The Lord loves you. And He knows you. Alam niya ang mga pinagdadaanan mo. Because today is the hour for you to enjoy the presence of Jesus Christ in your heart. Come on. Amen and amen. Please face me. And to those who are on their seats, kindly, shall we lay our hands over them? I'm gonna be leading you in English because of our brothers here. But kindly raise your hands. Okay? Kindly raise, itas po ang inyong mga kamay. And follow after me. Jesus, I'm sorry, Lord, for all of my sins. I'm sorry, Lord, that I hurt you. I want to invite you to be in my heart. And I am accepting you as my Lord and my Savior. I'm tired of being alone. You said in your words, You will not leave me, nor forsake me. Lord, be the King of my life. I am totally yours. Be the King of my heart. And from now on, I will not be alone anymore. You are with me as the King of my life. Thank you, Lord, for dying for me. That you died on the cross of Calvary to redeem me and to forgive me for me to have eternity. Thank you, Lord, for making me one of your children. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say, Jesus is able. Amen. Praise God. Father in heaven, 
I would like to pray for my sisters and my brothers in the name of Jesus. They feel down. They feel afraid. They feel uncertain in the name of Jesus. These are the arrows, the flaming arrows of the enemy. But we are going to wear the full armor of God to fight the good fight of faith. The battle belongs to the Lord. We are not alone in facing the challenges. Jesus Christ is with me, is with us. Then I am upholding the lives of my sisters and my brothers today that they are not going to succumb to discouragement or any pressures, but they are going to decide and stand firm that Jesus is with them, that you are not leaving them nor forsaking them because they are destined to experience more victories. They are heaven citizens, but we are still in this wicked world. So therefore, Lord, the struggles are so intense. But you promised that you have overcome the world. So therefore, we can overcome the world as well. To those who are not feeling well, we are rebuking these sicknesses. We are claiming the healing powers of Jesus Christ. Thou art our greatest physician. Nothing is impossible if a prayer of faith is being prayed for. Thank you, Lord. For redeeming us. Thank you, Lord, for strengthening us. And thank you, Jesus, for we have the victory. In Christ's name we pray. And everybody shout a louder. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. family uh, together with Pastor Jenny. Nice po namin uh, ibigay ang um, lack of appreciation for being with us today. And our uh, team, the battle belongs to the Lord. With our sincere gratitude, we, God is alive, present this lack of appreciation to Reverend Edward D. Galang. On this third day of June 2022, during our 20th year's anniversary, God is Alive Christian Ministries Limited here at D1 Fort Worth Jun Moon Industrial Center, number two, Sunping Circuit, Jun Moon. Ito po ay pang sa salamat namin sa iyo 
at ibinibigay po namin sa iyo ng may pag-ibig at pagmamahal. At mga kapatid ko, inanyahan ko po kayong tumayo at ating po nga pasalamatan sa pumamagitan ng panalangin ang likod ng Panginoon na kung saan ay napakalaking pagpapala sa pamilyang ito. Amen po ba? Amen. At sa mga iba't ibang churches from different churches here in Hong Kong. I do believe na ang panalangin ay hindi kaya uh, tumbasan ang mga bagay na naibibigay. Amen? Amen. Kaya po, sama-sama tayo. Tinayang ko pong itaas ang inyong mga kamay para sa Kanya at atin po siyang idalangin sa ating Panginoon. Hallelujah. Dakilang Diyos, we worship you, Panginoon, na patuloy sa pagkakataong ito. Kami nagpapasalamat, Panginoon, minsan pa na kami ay napaunlakan, Panginoon, at napalakas ng iyong lingkod na ito, na kung saan, Panginoon, ay ang laking bahagi, Panginoon, sa buhay namin at sa pamilyang ito. Panginoon, nililapit po namin siya sa iyo, sama-sama kami, Panginoon, at continue to bless his life, O God. At anuman, Panginoon, ang kanya pa, Panginoon, mga uh, daraan ang tatahakin, Panginoon, magawa lamang, Panginoon, ang iyong mga naisin sa kanyang buhay, We are praying, Lord, na continue to bless Him. Strengthen Him, O God. And you know, Panginoon, alam namin na hindi nalilinig sa iyo ang kanyang uh, mga secret petitions. Yes. At this moment, O oh Lord, we are here praying to you, O God. Continue to uh, answer, Panginoon, all His desire. Yes. Lalo na, Panginoon, sa uh, bawat ministry o sa ministry na iyong inilagay sa kanyang mga kamay, Ayan mo, Panginoon, na pagtagumpayin mo siya. Salamat, Lord. Patuloy na i-strengthen mo siya so that He will strengthen us, O God, continuously. And those people who are around Him, lalo na, Panginoon, ang kanyang pamilya. And today, Lord, He is going to visit His family. We are praying, Lord, that continue to use Uh, his life, Panginoon, at patuloy na maganap yung kalooban mo sa kanyang pag-uwi. Salamat, Lord, sa kanyang buhay. Patuloy na maranasan niya ang pag-iingat mo, ang covering mo, not only to Him, but the whole family, Lord. And the church, Panginoon, kung saan ay pinagkatiwala mo sa kanya, Panginoon, at sa FMFI o Diyos, family. Patuloy na ikaw, ang sa kanya ay sumama, mag-ingat, at patuloy na, Panginoon, yung uh, anointing mo na sa iyo ay tumaloy sa kanya, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord, every time na makakasama namin ito, hindi man makaari lang sa pagkakatong ito, we are praying, Panginoon, na matuloy yung pagpapaulak ay may pagkalop niya rin patuloy sa anong. Kaya minsan pa, nilalagap namin, Panginoon, ang iyong lingkod na ito, sa iyong mga kamay, sa iyong kapangyarihan, pagpalain mo at ingatan ang iyong lingkod na ito, Panginoon. At salamat po, Panginoon, ang buong pamilya ito, Panginoon, ay nakakalak na nakasama po namin ang lingkod mong ito. Salamat po minsan pa, ang papuri at pasasalamat ay lagi namin ibinibigay sa iyo sa patuloy na tagumpay na ibinibigay mo sa gawain ito at sa mga taong inilalagay mo sa kawang ito. Thank you Lord for His life. In the mighty name of your Son Jesus Christ we pray. Lagi mo sabi ng Amen! Amen. At nagpatuloy po tayo ng new pastor. Sige po, bago po tayo dumako sa giving ay makakasaksi po ulit tayo ng isang natatawing bilang na iahatog po ng ating mga kapatid para kay Lord, mga kapatid sa Saturday Fellowship. Palapakan po natin ang Panginoon sa kanilang mga kapatid.
Hallelujah. Ina-acknowledge 
promise natin na siya ay mabuti sa lahat ng oras. Dahil kung hindi dahil sa kanya, wala tayo, wala ang mga pagpapala na ito dahil yung lakas, yung buhay, yung hininga natin na natatamu natin, ito ay galing sa kanya. Palagi natin isipin, ang inuuna lagi ang Panginoon ay hindi talo. Panalo palagi Amen. ang inuuna ang Panginoon. Sabi niya sa Matthew 6.33, Seek first the kingdom of God and all His righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you or unto us. Napapatid ni Lord ang mga pangangailangan natin. Hindi tayo pagkukulangin ni Lord. Hindi tayo pababayaan ni Lord as long na inuuna natin siya. Ipanalangin po natin ang ating ipagkakaloob. Hallelujah! Pinupuri, dinadakila ka namin, Panginoon, at pinapasalamatan ka namin sa araw na ito. Panginoon, salamat sa kabutihan mo, lalo na sa iyong iglesia, ang galing sa live na kung saan nagsiselebrate na ika-20th anniversary. Salamat din, Panginoon, sa kabutihan mo sa bawat isa sa amin. Panginoon, sa iyo nagmula ang lahat ng meron kami. Lahat ng mga pagpapala na natatamasa namin sa kasalukuyan, ito ay galing sa iyo, Panginoon. Kaya karapat dapat lamang na ikaw ay una namin pasalamatan, ikaw ang una namin handugan at una namin uh, uh, parangalan sa lahat ng ito. Lord, sa amin ipagkakaloob, pakalinisin mo pa ito. Itama mo lagi ang motibo ng aming mga puso at isipan upang sa ganon ang lahat ng aming handog o ibibigay sa iyo, ito ay maging palugod-lugod sa iyo. Lord, Naway dalangin namin sa lahat ng aming mga ipagkakaloob na ito, ito ay maging tulong at maging kagamit-gamit sa iyong iglesia, sa pagpapalawak ng iyong gawain, sa pagpapalaganap ng iyong mga salita, at ganun din sa pag-abot sa mga taong naliligaw, papalapit sa iyong presensya, Panginoon. Dalangin din namin sa mga hahawak nito, Panginoon, ingatan at proteksyonan mo rin sila, Panginoon, na ito ay magamit lamang para sa iyong kaluwalatian. Sa mga kapatid namin, Panginoon, na hindi pa maunawaan ang tungkol sa pagbibigay ng ikapo o pagkakaloob, Panginoon, dalangin namin na sa pamamagitan ng iyong mga salita at sa tulong na rin iyong banal na espiritu, mangusap ka sa kanila, Panginoon, upang lubos nilang maunawaan ang lahat ng ito. Ipaalala mo sa amin sa bawat araw, Panginoon, na ang lahat ng meron kami, ito ay galing sa iyo. Kaya karapat dapat lang na ibalik ang nararapat sa iyo, Panginoon. Maraming salamat. Patuloy na kami ay inatal. Patuloy na kami palakasin. Patuloy na kami ay patatagin sa aming pananampalatay at higit sa lahat. Patuloy na kami ay pagtatagumpayin sa buhay na ito. Ang lahat ng ito ay pinapasalamatan at pinadalami namin. Sa pangalan mo, Yesus. Amen. Lupag ang ataong po ito, muli po tayo mga tungay ng isang natataming bilang mula po sa music ministry. Pas pa ka natin ang Diyos sa kanilang mga 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 mga. Sabi mo ni Pastor kanina, ang nagbago sa mga matatalo. Ngunit ang lumalabang katalang ng Christ, laging buhay. Amen. Amen. Sa ating mga buhay, maraming maaaring ilatag sa atin ang ating kaaway. Bigla-bigla sa bawat araw. Ngunit, ang Diyos ay tapat. Mula sa music ministry po, kami po ay nais mag-alay ng isang awiting papuri sa ating Panginoon. At dalangin po namin na ang isang encouragement po na ito na awitin ay maging encouragement po para sa bawat isa sa atin sa kaluwalhatian ng ating Panginoon. Sapagkat mayroong isang pangalang ibinigay sa atin sa silong ng langit tungo sa ating kaligtasan. Isang pangalang nagmangalang Jesus na nagmamayari ng lahat ng kapangyarihan Isang tinig na may control sa lahat ng bagay. Isang hari na siyang hari ng mga hari. Hallelujah. Papuli po sa ating Panginoon. Amen. Fear and doubt, but there is one.
who's stronger. Hard pressed on each side, we will not lose sight. Oh, to one who's greater. Salamat po 
So, umarim ito, Panginoon, na muli kami iyong pinagtagumpay, O Lord God, sa pagdiriwas na, pagdiriwang ng aming anniversary, Panginoon. Alam namin, O Diyos, na sa bawat gagawin namin sa aming buhay, Panginoon, ay sasamahan mo kami. Hindi mo kami pababayaan, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord, sa mga ginamit mo sa umarim ito, Panginoon. Patuloy na ang kalakasan ay patuloy na igawad mo sa kanila. Palitan mo, Panginoon, ang nawalang kalakasan ng kagalakan, O Diyos. Ganun din, Panginoon, sa nagbahagi ng iyong banal na salita kay Reverend Edward Galang, Panginoon. Ano mang uh, nawa ng kalakasan, Panginoon, sa kanya, ibalik mo ito ng ayon pa sa kanyang uh, naasang, Panginoon. Patuloy na magpapagpalain mo ang kanyang buhay, ngayon din ang kanyang sambahayan, O Diyos. Nangyari na huwag, nagkilang layunin mo sa kanyang buhay, Panginoon. At sa lahat po ng nag-iisa sa gawain ito, Panginoon, patuloy na ang kalakasan ay patuloy na igawad mo sa amin. At nangyari na huwag, O Diyos, ang nagkilang layunin mo sa amin, mga buhay, Panginoon. At ang iyong uh, mga anak na ito, Panginoon, ay patuloy na magsumikay sa iyo, O Diyos. Hayaan mo, Panginoon, na ang bawat papasok at lalabhas sa pulwag ito, O Diyos, dala-dala ang mga salita mo. Dalitala ang mga katuroan mo, Father God. Maging sandatanawa namin ito, Panginoon, sa lahat ng uri ng kasamaan, Panginoon. Sapagkat alam namin na ikaw ang sasama sa amin, Panginoon. Salamat po sa iyong uh, kabutihan sa bawat isa. Patuloy na pagbalain mo ang uh, iglesia ito, Father God. At patuloy na maitaas namin ang pangalan mo, O Diyos. Sa aming buhay, Panginoon, ikaw lamang ang maluwalhati, Father God. Salamat po, minsan pa. Patuloy na kapagtagumpayin mo ang bawat isa, O Diyos. Ito po ang samot na aming dalayin. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, Tulitin na natin ang pagkakataon na kasama natin si Pastor Edward. Umingi po kami ng panalangin para sa mga leaders. Okay lang po, basta. Tatawagin po lahat ng mga leaders. Amen. Do you love your leaders? Yes. Hallelujah. Do you love your pastors? Yes. Shall we lay our hands over them and support them, pray for them, uphold them, because they are too, they are also being attacked by the enemy at times. But because of your support and the covering of the blood of Jesus, we're going to be much more faithful in working in the vineyard. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon. Hindi tao ang naglalagay, kundi ang Diyos. Ikaw ang lahat ng may akda ng appointments. Thank you, Lord, for appointing these leaders to lead us in our God is Alive ministries. Cover them with your blood. Anoint them with the power of the Holy Spirit. And whatever are the skills of the enemy, we are rebuking them one by one. They are going to be untaxable. They are going to be invincible. Because the covering of the blood of Jesus is upon them. Yet at times they are discouraged, afraid, disappointed. We are praying for the touch of your encouragement and the love of Jesus to comfort and caress them. Thank you, O God, because by the power of your blood, they are going to advance. The battle belongs to the Lord. And if Jesus Christ is with them, then who can be against them? We are rebuking the scheme of discouragement, the scheme of disappointment, the scheme of sometimes they are the brink, they are at the brink of hatred. We are praying for them to always be generous in pronouncing forgiveness to those who have hurt them and offended them. And as a church, Lord, we are supporting them, blessing them, and upholding them. Praying for more victories to be upon this church through their leadership. In Christ's name, we pray, and everybody shout. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Yan, salamat po sa inyong lahat sa naging bahagi ng celebration ito. Minsan pa ay uh, hayaan natin Ang pagpapala ng Panginoon ay sumain yung lahat, sumating lahat, at patuloy na ingatan tayo at pagpalain ng Diyos. Magandang tahali po 
At pag po kayong aalis sa tanghaling ito ay nag-prepare po ang God is Alive ng ating uh, lunch. At uh, nais namin kayong makasama sa pagbubunyang patuloy na gawa ito. God bless po and to God all be the glory. Amen. Sabi po natin si Pastor Yeni para may pag-pray na natin yung lunch natin. Para pag habang dinidistribute ito mamaya, makain na lang po tayo. And after this po ay uh, pagkakaroon tayo ng...